Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of To The Max Outdoors. Today's video, we're going to talk about a shooting tripod from CV Life. CV Life is an online Amazon store and they offer this portable shooting tripod that had features and accessories for it that I thought fit my needs and Max's needs really well. Now, if you follow me along or watch any of my videos, you're going to know that, that we are outdoor people. We're on the creek bank, river bank, in the boat, in the tree stand, in the woods, cutting brush. We do a multitude of things that requires something of a sturdy product. Now, over the years, I've been beating up tripods and getting upset about it. I'm tired of buying plastic stuff. So I found this one here when I was reading through the features of this one here. It said it had a quarter 20 threaded stud on it. Big plus in my book. That is multi-purpose for me. That'll do camera accessories. You know, if you uh, film or take pictures with your phone, it'll take your phone holder because it's quarter 20 and it'll hold GoPros. We do all of our filming off GoPros, 11s. Everything adapts right to it. At the shooting range, if you use a spotting scope like we do, quarter 20 on the bottom of it, perfect. This is a metal construction. That was number two in my book. That's a huge plus for me. It's metal. It, it, we're heavy handed people. Max could tear up an anvil with a Q-tip. So we have to have something solid. And I think we found it. Like I said, we've been using it for a good while. I'm really happy with it. We've had it out on the creek bank with us. We've had it out at the shooting range. We've been using it here at the house to shoot crossbow with it. It has been phenomenal so far. The uh, little tripod part of it here comes in a little carrying case with the uh, cinch rope top part to it. There is the base of the tripod and here's the provided uh, gun rest part that comes with it. So we'll start here with the tripod. It's got this little uh, strap that holds the legs together in that carrying case. The big thing to me was it's metal. The legs are metal. The center locking screw is metal. The height adjustability rods are metal. That's a huge plus to us. This one has two, it has a, a two part height system to it. Both of these inner rods are metal. The base lock is a metal screw. It goes into, well, I don't know how well you can see it. The base of this is metal. So it's metal threaded into metal. It's not metal threaded into plastic. If you got a metal bolt threaded into plastic the first time you over torque it it's done you don't have that issue with this one metal to metal it's a big plus for me now the top friction lock to get your top part this piece here it has a plastic handle on it but all the friction lock part of it is metal another big plus to me the provided gun rest part of it that it has it is a full metal construction also all of that is metal the thumb screw part of it it is all metal now it does have a really nice rubber coated throat that'll accept you know your your rifle stocks or your crossbow stock and that's also something that i didn't realize when i was reading the features but it has a uh it has a couple different deviations in here that'll accept different widths of forearms and uh, different width of a crossbow. That's a big thing for me. When we shoot off the bench, we try to shoot in pretty much the same scenarios we would shoot in a hunting setup. There you go. That thumb screw is metal and it lock, it mates to a plastic base down here. So that part is plastic. But you get it down pretty well. Now the yoke part, it still does a 360 movement. That'll, that allows me to shoot in what I'm going to consider as a hunting scenario. I don't like to shoot locked down. I don't like to shoot out of a vise. Now, the base of this, you can get two different heights. Well, I should say, to get your high set up, it takes the narrow, the narrow configuration of the legs. But it's still solid. You still do what you need to do with it. In our scenario, when we were shooting our crossbow out of it, one clockwise turn down here of this lock metal locking ring clockwise turn allows you to widen that base out and it'll hold more the user's manual claims 22 pounds 
we've not tested 22 pounds. I don't think we got anything that weighs 22 pounds that we'll be using on that. But there again, the different deviations to the throat of that allows you to shoot a crossbow out of it. And anybody that's shot a crossbow knows that the forearm part is wider than most rifles. So you kind of have a problem. This one here is good enough that it'll allow you to get up on the front end of the crossbow to get it supported where you want to stay behind the cables where you need to be and it still holds it. We've been shooting off this now probably six different times. Crossbows are fairly violent when you pull the trigger. Everything's held up pretty well. Now, you know, to, to prove that point of the different deviation steps down here, we have this rifle here. This is off of a Winchester Model 70 that we restocked here a while back. It also, it fits in there just as well. There again, this is the scenario that we like to shoot in. We like to shoot off of a rest. This would simulate like a tree or the, the, the rest part of your tree stand. That's the, this is the scenario that we shoot in. It does it good. It, it, it does everything that, that I wanted to do just like I wanted it to do. I'm happy with it. There again, metal construction pretty much throughout it. Lever lock there works good. Thumb screw works like it should. And the, the, the quarter 20 threaded part for me has been great. Like I said, I like to have one tool to do multiple jobs. That quarter 20 allows me to do it. Max and I went to the range hmm, two weeks ago and was shooting 200 plus yards. We shoot three to nine and four to 12 scopes on our rifles. We are not target shooters by no means. So a spotting scope just like that comes in super handy. In the widest configuration, it holds the spotting scope solid enough to do what we needed to do. There's the first lever. The first lever adjustment gets still steady. There's up on the second one as high as it'll go. So that's the highest configuration with the widest footprint there. It's still solid. Get right on it. It's perfect for what we do. There again, we're not target shooters. We're shooting men at a deer. This works perfect for us. Anybody that's interested in this, go to Amazon, check them out, CV Life. I've been happy with it. And there'll be another one of these in our gear bag here coming shortly. I will purchase another one. So thank you for watching to the Max Outdoors.